Hello, hello. We are back in Malaysia right now. Set by Malaysia for all of you folks out there in the grandstands and uh, fans cheering on the side, of course, for your favorite teams and drivers out there. We'll be getting ready to witness the first race for the Thailand Super Series 2019. That's right, folks. We're here in Sepang uh, International Circuit. Getting ready to be witness to the GTC race. First race will be up in approximately, well, I don't know, five minutes or so. In the meantime, you can take a gander over at the Thailand Super Series website, which will be at thailandsuperseries.net. And of course, you will have a chance to go for the Thai or English commentary. Uh, if you're now in the grandstands and you're wondering where's the English commentary on the, on the site, that will be uploaded later on in the day, I presume. But at least you can hear it now in the grandstand right now. Temperatures are pretty nice and cool. Uh, there are two sides to that uh, sword, so to speak, because uh, too hot, you run the chance of overheating, both, uh, you know, consuming all that energy from the drivers and the teams. Too cool, and you might slip it up on the, on the tracks because uh, you need the adhesion on the tarmac with all the uh, compounds and rubber being uh, used on the cars right now. In any case, let's see what's going down by pit row. I suppose, oh, there you see a shot. Blowing kisses at you right here. <laughs> we got uh, 66. Hmm. Uh, of course, going together with the cars, of course, you gotta have beautiful, beautiful livery. What do you think I was gonna say? <laughs> Safety car in effect right now. Mercedes-Benz making its way around the track. Look at it go. I always love this design of that Mercedes. Uh, got a sloping back and everything. Sort of a flush, fast back. Team for AAS Motorsports and S. Cola right there. Uh, as well as Furio. The 46 Porsche. And as you can see... All the drivers are getting ready with their team and managing uh, directors out there for each of the members of the teams. Pretty shortly, the race will get underway with a possibility of photo taking opportunity. Here is Ma Seng, racing team number 14. The Porsche came in GT4. You know, the fastest qualifying time he did was uh, 220, by the way. And it's going to be a rolling start, by the way, in case you were wondering if it's going to be a standstill or a rolling start. It will be a rolling start. And the cars will be getting underway. Okay, let's take a look at the rosters right now. Seven cars in contention right here. Starting off with the, uh, let's see, the Toyota Team Thailand, GTC, of course. All the, uh, the classes are here on GTC. Toyota Team Thailand, number 37, representing uh, 37 with uh, Manat in the driver's seat. He, of course, nabbed the fastest time with a 219.843, which obviously ended up with him in the pole position. Number 37 will be in pole position. Toyota Team Thailand. Uh, AAS Motorsports, a Porsche Cayman GT4 machine uh, driven by Pasu Lipta Palop from Thailand had the second fastest time on the qualifying round of 220.548. And that car will be number 46. Meanwhile, we just saw a shot of Ma Seng's racing team, Chayapon Yota, out of Thailand. Porsche came in GT4 as well. A very close time of 220.830. Looks like we've got some sponsorship shots right here down by the pits right there from S. Cola. <laughs> ah, refreshing. Number 66 will be in fourth position. Not a jock from Thailand. Porsche came in GT4 as well with a 221 uh, qualifying time. 221 flat out. Not bad. Also from AAS Motorsports. The pit exit is now open. We are 
now open for business. I mentioned number nine, World Pumps TR Motorsports is a Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 9, uh, driven by Tony Percy out of uh, Great Britain. World Pumps TR Motorsports, he had a record time of, uh, well, 221.871 for the qualifying round, and therefore he lands up in fifth position on the grid. And last but not least, well, we got a few more, actually. Toyota Team Thailand, Toyota 86, I call it the Super 86. Kentaro, out of Japan. He nabbed in at around 221.883. Therefore, ends him up in sixth position. Number 18, I'm assuming that's it. Gonna be Ian Ross Geeky out of uh, Australia. Porsche 997 Cup from the Be Quick Racing Team. Will also be uh, in the mix. Of course, everybody will be right behind that Mercedes Benz safety car. And awaiting for the signal. Later on in the day, for TSS Motorsports fans out there, we will also be doing GT3, GTM, and TA2 at around 3.50 local time in Malaysia. So stay tuned for that later on. And that of course will be a one hour race. Meanwhile, this GTC will be 12 laps. So 12 laps, they have to make it from the allocated time. And we're originally scheduled for 1.55 local time to 2.25 for race number one. Meanwhile, I want to take this time to thank our partnerships you can't have uh, a great race without good partnership. Want to get a shout out to Toyota Motors Thailand, TRD Thailand, as well as Sing Corporation, Be Quick, Apollo Oil Thai, Eden Mitsu Motor Oil, True Visions Group, as well as Siam Michelin, and Wang Prom Trading, also ETS Racing Fuel, Ron 102. Great fuel for the supercars, that is. And it uh, looks like there's going to be some note here. Car number 18, the Be Quick Racing Team, Porsche 997 Cup will start at the pit exit. That was just uh, whispered over to me. Race control. Also, I want to give a shout out to PTT. As well as JS Asia Beverage, Bird's Nest. Sambiti Bed Hospital from Siracha. Of course, safety is always a number one priority. So yeah, I'm Sports Syndicate and Racing Box Limited. I heard that uh, two days ago it was so hot it just poured down like uh, cats and dogs. Not today though, hopefully not today. Earlier on, I was just reading the, the weather report and it was uh, supposed to come down raining hard but no only a drizzle so that's good good news should provide for a interesting race today and all that drizzle has uh, pretty much evaporated from the hot tarmac on the floor coming up to around two o'clock in the afternoon at this time the tarmac should be releasing most of that uh, pent-up heat 
during the day. Remember folks, this is Thailand Super Series GTC race number one, the first race for Thailand Super Series of 2019. We keep starting it here in Sepang, Malaysia. See the crew is getting out there and getting ready to uh, prep up the drivers once again. Probably ask them some last minute questions. Signs up now for 10 more minutes left to go before we go Racing here on a uh, rolling start. Of course, all eyes are going to be up on the Toyota Team Thailand and AS Motorsports as well as Mossang Racing Team. 37, 46, and 14 being 1, 2, and 3 on the grid. Manat leading the way for the Toyota 86, uh, Toyota Team Thailand. Nabbing at 219.843, squeezing it down from 220 during qualifying rounds. At a VMAX speed of 142.69, down the straightaway. Here's a shot of 46 for your AAS Motorsports. Porsche Cayman GT4. That's Pasu Lipta Palop out of Thailand. Porsche Cayman GT4 looks beautiful, sleek. It has a 220. Uh, time on the qualifying rounds, 220.548. A total of seven cars on the grid. Chayapon Yota from Mossang Racing Team. Third position on the grid. Number 14. Next up, we should probably get a shot of Nata Jock in the AAS Motorsports 66. Later on when uh, this race will end for round one, race one for GTC, schedule that up to 2.35 local time. Here's a shot of Manat, Toyota Team Thailand, sitting nice and pretty. The hard part about being number one on the grid right now is trying to defend either that or let it rip. Pretty much uh, pedal to the metal and try to get away from the rest of the field as fast as possible. But you do have to remember, the first lap does not define who the winner will be. It's actually one of the, the lap that you have to be most cautious because of the tire temperatures are still cool. Kentaro right here, Toyota Team Thailand hailing out of Japan, the number 22, sitting in the sixth position in his Toyota 86. A lot of Toyota and TRD signage going up there, of course, being uh, one of the prominent sponsors. All right, folks, five minutes left to go before we let her go. Pit exit has now been closed. 
Tony Percy, Swadi Krab, <laughs> does the uh, official Thai greet. It's wonderful to see the uh, international uh, mix here. And even though his name is Tony Percy, but he does know how to say hello in Thai, the Thai way. <laughs> And we're in Sepang, Malaysia. So that's just a whole lot of international for you. <laughs> AAS Motorsports, not the job. A total curvature of 15 turns around. Sepang International Circuit. W ramping it up to 5.543 kilometers. I don't know if you know this, but it was opened up in March 7th of 1999, by the way. So this track goes way back. Um, and it was uh, designed by Herman Tilk, a famous track designer out in Sepang International Circuit. This is one of his uh, designs. Get a shot of 46 for you. Happens to be AES Motorsports Pasu Lipta Palo. As you can see, some of the cars are getting into the position and on the grid correctly. I believe that was the Evo being pushed over. Rope pumps, I believe. Something's uh, up with the camera angle here. She's either too tall or the camera guy's too short. <laughs> We're looking straight up at her. <laughs> All righty. Three minutes left to go. As we're waiting for the track to clear, all staff members, as we see some of the crews now are getting off the track. Everybody should be focused, getting ready to start their engines. Waiting for that one minute mark. Then you'll hear the rip and roaring engine of all these cars for the GTC class. Race number one about to get underway, Thailand Super Series 2019. Gotta hold your horses there. Oh, we see the, the Michelin guy out there as well. <laughs> Love that mascot. Ah, doing his uh, trademark hello there. For those of you that uh, want to catch up on the whole schedule of TSS or Thailand Super Series, head on over to thailandsuperseries.net or search us on the Facebook. Here we are, one minute left to go. Let's get ready to start the engines. Now, of course, GTC was uh, a class that uh, TSS has opened up their doors and opened up their hearts to allow tuners from Thailand and uh, shops in Thailand to come show their best. And of course, compete on a level that is international as well. So it is one of the categories that you can come and join if you want to step into the world of motorsports. And I think it's a wonderful platform as well. Safety car is already out. And like I said, folks, this is going to be a rolling start, so everybody's got to be in formation. We've got it cutting off to track side.
my hunch is basically everybody's going to be starting to weave, as you can see right here, right off the bat. Toyota Team Thailand taking that uh, initial weaving because he's in first position, number 37. Uh, they want to warm up the tires as much as possible. And be careful not to do any slip-ups, especially going through these S-curves right here. Turns one and two. Pretty much going downhill. You can see some minor bankage on uh, the turns here. And Sepang. Much they'll be side by side. Toyota Team Thailand, then AS Motorsports, then Moss Egg Racing Team. 37, 46, and 14. AS Motorsports will be once again in fourth position for number 66. Not a jock. Then uh, number nine, Tony Percy, will be in fifth. This rolling start. Toyota Team Thailand, number 22, Kintaro in six. The Toyota 86. Number 18, Ian Ross Geeky from the Be Quick Racing Team, I heard, will be coming out of uh, the pit exiter. Now the different layout of the drivetrain of these cars also plays into effect at how these cars will handle. If you notice the Porsche, uh, all, most of the Porsches here, well, the, the weight is pretty much uh, biased toward the rear. And when uh, they accelerate out the corner, they give it a little bit of a squiggle. Meanwhile, the front, uh, front engine rear wheel drive layouts give a little bit of more of a, a drifto effect. <laughs> That's where you have aerodynamics coming into play. The Evo 9 actually should be pretty much uh, well planted on the ground. From World Pumps number nine in fifth position. Tony Percy. Other than that, it's the game for the 86 Toyota and the Porsche Cayman GT4. We do have a uh, 997 Cup Porsche from Be Quick, uh, driven by Inros Geeky, though, into the mix. He'll be coming out in seventh position. And the lights on the safety car is out, which means they're getting ready to race. Good formation. They cannot... Uh, surpass each other during this section until they pass the starting line. After which, they will be gunning their engines, trying to get ahead of each other. Here we go, building up, green light, green light. It's all racing time right now. Who is up front still? Toyota Team Thailand, Toyota 86 still in the lead. Right behind, we've got AS Motorsports, Porsche Cayman GT4, side by side. I believe this is 46. Monse coming up on the 14 machine. Was about to pass him on the S turns. Could glitch it down in time. Lost the momentum. Now it's being passed by the AS Motorsports. Toyota Team Thailand, good 86. Manan trying to make a clean getaway. Chaya Ponyota trying to make a run for it as well. It's going to be a duking battle up front for the 1 2. But it looks like Toyota Team Thailand is pulling away with Manat gunning the engine. Fourth, leaving behind Ma Seng and AS to fight it off. Pasu and Chaya Pon. Two Porsches back to back. Look a little bit of a squiggly do right there from Chayapon Yota. Huh? 
Asu is now in third position, trailing behind by a car length. Right behind Chayapon Yota, and the cameras are on these two. It's a fight for second position right now. And Toyota Team Thailand is saying bye-bye to the rest of the field as Manan doesn't have a, a problem at all gunning the engine. Meanwhile, Nanajak still in the mix. A hope for AAS Motorsports as well. Top sector times goes to Toyota Team Talent, no doubt for Manan. And they're looking very happy down by pit road. The Mossang Racing Team did take sector four time, down by a second in the Porsche Cayman GT4. And if that keeps up, he might have a chance to meet up with the Toyota driven by Manat up in first position. In the meantime, Chayapon has got Pasu to worry about right behind his tail. Forget about Carlin, both they're, they're about to go side by side. Here, here it gets more exciting now. 46 should be side by side coming to the corners. Not enough momentum. Mossang still holding on. Chayapon Yota making sure he's not getting past that easy. Best time for him was 224.269. He's a second away from top Hancho Toyota Team Thailand, Manat. I think the gap is actually spreading, though. It's so, a second and uh, 0.249 away. Now you see that stretch getting wider and wider. It used to be one car length, now two, now three. And it seems that Mossang's racing team, uh, Chayapon Yota, has a good advantage on a straightaway, but when it comes down to corners, he loses that gap. Hasu is trying to catch up. I believe Nanajak is right behind him, also from AES Motorsports. Maybe they might do a tag team. Nanajak, also from Thailand. You got the two twin uh, AES Motorsports uh, Porsche right there. So it's a little bit, if you don't look at the numbers, you might get a little confused as who's who. Right now in third position, we're looking at Pasu. Meanwhile, Nanajak looks like he's falling behind a bit. And Kentaro is right behind. Looking for the pounce. Kentaro. Let's check out the replay on the on the starting line. When it was a rolling start and everybody was gutting the engine, you see the AS Motorsports Porsche try to get on the inside lane. Also go on the middle as well. Couldn't find a passage, safe passage through. And of course, Team Toyota Thailand had a nice driving line, got on the inside as well through the apex. But here we have a double apex to the S. Mossang trying to make it over on the top with Chayapon Yota trying to go side by side with Manat. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough for him to pass through. Down two laps already, folks. And that's 10 more laps to go from a total of 12, obviously. Nine, number nine, World Pumps. Uh, Tony Percy's is actually in the pits now. TR Motorsports lifted the hood. Not sure if it was a, a heat issue or whatnot. Let's hope he gets back into the racing as quickly as possible. 
Meanwhile, a shot of Moss Egg's racing team, driven by Choi Yapon Yotai in the Porsche Cayman GT4, looks like to be running almost a solo race. You have uh, Toyota up front, then Porsche, and round it out with a Toyota in the back. Down by fifth position, Kentaro. Hasu still hanging on. Not much of a change in gaps. The only change I see is actually the Mossack Racing Team, uh, Chayapon dropping down to five seconds behind the lead of Manat, who's driving the Toyota 86. And the reason why Manat is doing so well right now, you have to see the sector times that he's taken the icing on the cake for each sector. World Pumps number nine, still having a problem in the pits with Tony Percy popping the hood there. And uh, coming in for a shot. 37, Toyota Team Thailand. Manat. Ulapalanon. Last lap did a 218, 909. I believe earlier on he did a 2 219, and was pulling the times down further and further. No pressure whatsoever for Manat, Toyota Team Thailand. You don't see anybody behind him. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Finally, we see a shot. In second position, still going for it. Chayapon Yota for Mossang Racing Team. Followed by Pasu from AAS Motorsports. Nata Jock in the 66 machine. Driving for AAS Motorsports in fourth position. Rounding it out with the number 22, Kentaro from Japan. Uh, number 18, Ian Ross Geeky, down by sixth position, the B Queen Racing Team. It's got a huge uh, gap difference though. Everybody's running consistent time, so that's the thing. When they're running consistent time, they're in full form. There's not going to be much change between uh, positions. And everybody's mostly running in the 219, 220 range. While we're waiting down in the pits, well, the number nine, World Pumps TR Motorsports, waiting patiently, but I'm sure he's anxiously waiting to get out of there. want to get some heat soak as you know when you're running through uh, on full full swing the air from the front of the uh, intercooler radiator is gonna cool everything down but if you sit the car down there too long it's a heat soak going on left to go we've got eight laps left to go for this first race Thailand Super Series GTC Kickstarting Thailand Super Series 2019. 
Toyota team down by the pits looking anxiously. They know that Manat has got a grab, a good firm grab, by the way. Number 37, there you see the shot of it. As uh, getting best times, good position. On the other end of the spectrum, you do have the 22, for also from Toyota Team Thailand, down by fifth position, the uh, Toyota 86. Meanwhile, AAS Motorsports, number 46, Pasu, still struggling, trying to catch up to Mossang's racing team, Chayapon Yota. All the cars actually look very stable. Earlier on, I was mentioning the drivetrains of these cars will pretty much affect the, the performance and how these cars will handle. But it looks like they're all planted to the ground, which means that the team members and uh, the, the, the management did a great job on the decision of setting up these cars proper. With the feedback from the driver, obviously. It's all a team effort. Every time they go past the starting line, that means they already went 5.543 kilometers. Check it out. Almost a side-by-side -side action through a corner here. Oh, going out a little bit too wide. Toyota making a good pass right there. And just a blink of an eye, AAS Motorsports, number 66, I believe, <laughs> lost it. Went a little bit too wide, giving way to Toyota Team Thailand to move on up. Let's get an action replay of that. Here we go. As you can see, 22 out of Japan, Kentaro saw the mistake earlier on from AS Motorsports number 66, took that as a sign of good faith and passed them over. Finally, we have a, a change in position. And now, Super 86, Toyota Team Thailand has got a chance. Headhunt with the next AAS Motorsports machine, number 46. And if that happens, well, then you've got two Toyotas up for one, two, one, and three. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mossang Racing Team, uh, Chayapon Yota, still dabbed in the middle of um, second position, right behind Toyota Team Thailand's 37 Manan. With six laps left to go, this could be uh, a strategy game, whereas looking for any mistakes whatsoever from up front. But at this going rate, it doesn't look like Toyota Team's Thailand's uh, Manat's gonna have any pressure from the back whatsoever, which means that he's not gonna be making any mistakes. That means Chayapon Yota will have to push it even harder. Get a better time than 220, at least. Go in the 219 range. That's the only way he's gonna creep up to the back bumper of 37, Manat. At least right now, he's got good, clean, fresh air. And no distractions from the back. Not being a number 46 from AS Motorsports, Pasu, who is now hanging out in third position. As you can see, the gap has spread now. Chayapon from Mossang. He's got to play a lot of catch up with nine seconds there. That's a lot. Number 22 looks like playing a catch up game with a, a 46 AS Motorsports. Kentaro. I'm looking at Kentaro right now and I'm thinking, hmm, he's a charger. He's charging up the field. 
If he could just beat him on the inside. As he's getting closer to the rear bumper of that Porsche from AS Motorsports, number 46. Kentaro is looking to use the slipstream. Try to slingshot his way over. Pasa. Pasu. Toyota team looking anxiously to see if it's a good possibility right here. All eyes are in the back there. Car number 46 and the 22. It's a battle. I've said it once, I've said it, said it again. Who would think that the Toyota and the Porsche would be duking it out like this? Kentaro inching closer and closer, pulling it out and looking for that mistake. The strategy works. One mistake and there goes Kentaro up for another notch, folks. AS Motorsports drops down by another position, down to fourth. Meanwhile, 22 climbs up to number three. I'm telling you, Kentaro, folks, is a charger. He's charging his way up to say hello to his teammate, hopefully with uh, Manat but he still has Mustang Racing Team in front of him. Let's check out the replay right here, folks. It only takes one mistake going wide on the Porsche. AS Motorsports going a little bit wide, slowing him down with the gravel and the grass. And there goes Charger, Kentaro, 22. When that happened, you could hear the cheering from the Toyota paddock. Just smiling. All righty, folks, let's see what's going on. Up front, 37 still in the lead. Yes, oh boy. Kentaro, 22, is now in third position. Charging his way. I believe he's making a lot of uh, strides here. Making a big effort, a big cheer for Toyota right there. Let's see what he can do. With four laps left to go, anything can happen, folks. Now, if Chayapon cannot close the gap between uh, Manat, now he's got to worry about another Toyota monster right behind his back with Kentaro. So sandwiched right between, smack dab between the two Toyotas, you have got the Porsche Cayman GT4 from Mossang Racing Team, driven by Chayapun. Let's check out that replay. Smooth operator, 22, charging in. A little bit of a wheel lock right there for you. Turning in. Car is totally stable. Set just right. And that wide stance actually really helps the performance and uh, the the controllability of these cars. GTC, folks, the first race for Thailand Super Series 2019. Underway with four laps left to go. Right here in Sepang, international circuit. The 22, I'm gonna, I mean, after this race, I'm pretty much gonna call him the Charger from now on. <laughs> He's judged his way out from the back. Think about it, he started out from sixth position. Now he's up to three. With four laps left to go, he, he's he got to get as close as possible to uh, 14 machine, Chayapon. And that's all it's going to take for Toyota to be smiling for a one, two. Three laps left to go, folks.
Toyota team still anxiously looking from the pits. Meanwhile, AAS Motorsports, number 46, is now in fourth position, as well as Team Buddy, number 66, not a jock. Not a jock is running in fifth. Fifteen turns around the bends going up and down the hills here for Sepang International Circuit. I love the wide sweeping turns right here, but look at the way the Porsche leans into the corner right here. Doesn't give a budge. And brings it back right into the, the apex. Must be a thrilling uh, feeling. Look at him use the whole width of the track. Number 14, trying to increase as much distance away from number 22, the Charger, Kentaro, right behind his back. Three laps left to go, folks. GTC underway. Oh, a little bit of a drift, though, right here. Looks like the Porsche is having some uh, tail-happy action, but still in control. Talk about driving skills. At that speed, A shot of numero uno, head honcho, number 37, from Toyota Team Thailand. And of course, the Super 86, driven by Manat. As he knows, earlier on, he had a fast lap of 219. He can pretty much chill down now. As you can see, his last time, last lap around Sepang, he did 222. Meanwhile, number 14, Chayapon, is doing a faster time of 221. But check out Charger, Kentaro, Toyota Team Thailand. Look at his last lap. He is the fastest right now. Well, 220. That means he's putting a great effort. Good show, good show for Kentaro. It'll be interesting to see when he'll actually be up against the bumper. Rubbing up against uh, Chayapon, Eliana Mose. For 22, there you see it. Followed by the two AAS cars, number 46 and 66. Pasu and Nadaja. Team buddies from AES Motorsports hanging out in fourth and fifth position. Then, of course, you have the B Quick Racing Team, driven by Ian Ross Geeky in six. Looks like World Pumps finally made it back out on track as well. Number nine, Tony Percy. It seems it's like he's not giving up, even though he's like way, way behind. Two pairing up for AS Motorsports right here. Similar livery, difference in uh, bluish and green lines. Striped across the matte gray of the Porsche. Came in GT4. Gotta be careful not to go outside of bounds there, outside of track limits because uh, that might wreak havoc. And it looks like 46 is doing that quite often. Hasu, not sure if he's doing that on purpose, but it seems like every time he, he he's exiting out of corner, he's a little bit outside the lines there. Not on all four tires, thank goodness. Some debris actually on the track as well, some tire pieces. Tells you how grueling uh, these tires are up against the, the hot tarmac and the squeals and whatnot, the G-forces. All right, folks, final lap, final lap. It's now or never. Toyota Team Thailand, Toyota 86, rooting all the way right here. Manat, a shot of him right here. GTC, hero for race number one. On the last lap around Sepang. All he's got to do is complete this 5.54 kilometers. And it's checkered flag. Meanwhile, 
Number 14, Chayapon, right behind him. The gap is huge, but he has a defensive line up against another Toyota 86 from Toyota Team Thailand. Number 22, who I now will be calling <laughs> Charger Kentaro. Hailing out of Japan, coming out of sixth position, fought his way all the way up to third. Holding a respectable position for GTC race number one, Thailand Super Series. At this point, Manat, all, all he has to do is try to get back into the starting line without a problem. Doesn't need to force it. Otherwise, you know, you want to save the car up for, for another race. Listen to those downshifts. Nice and smooth. Car is firmly planted on the ground. Here we go. Coming in for the checker. Right behind in the frame, we finally see Mossang Racing Team in the second position. Car number 14, Chayapon Yota, and then followed with another Toyota team, Kentaro, the Charger. <laughs> Meanwhile, two Porsche Cayman GT4s from AS Motorsports, number 46, Hasu, well, currently in fourth position. Here's the checkered flag, driving in for Toyota. Congratulations, 37 completes it. Manat takes the win. Second goes to Mossang Racing Team, Chayapon, and third, a double for Toyota with Kentaro. AAS Motorsports goes in for fourth with the 66. Nakajak, unbelievable, overtook 46. Hasu drops down a fifth. And Be Quick Racing Team goes down in six for Ian Ross Kiki, number 18. Unbelievable, when the cameras weren't watching, what happened? between 46 and 66. I guess we'll find out in the replay. But I thought that uh, Pasu was holding it down pretty fine until suddenly gave way to Natajak. Natajak coming in fourth position. Here we go for the highlights, folks. Let's see what happens. Right off the get-go, folks, everybody's trying to Get the way climbing up to the top. But you know who had the, the correct line right there? Toyota Team Thailand 37. Getting ready, setting up for the first turn, turn one. He knows on his side, he had some uh, challenge from Mossang and as well as the AS Motorsports. But he didn't budge, he kept his line going. Kept it constant. And 37 was like a, a home run. Once he's gone, he's gone. Meanwhile, AS Motorsports messed up a bit over there, giving way to the Charger Kentaro, who moved up from sixth position, ended up in third. Checkered flag right there, captured by 37. Mana, no incidents whatsoever. Nice clean car, nice clean finish. And here are the official results. First place, Manat with the 37, Chayapon Yota in second, and Kentaro in third. Natajak in fourth, Pasu in fifth. Ian Ross Kiki in sixth. Last but not least, Tony Percy. All right, folks, GTC, race number one for Thailand Super Series just finished. We'll be right back for Thailand Super Series. More action headed along the way for GT3, GTM, and TA2. Race number one at 3.30 local time in Sepang International Circuit. This is Lord Siri Bumi. I'll be right back, folks.